It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Sisters, come talk to me. Brother, come talk to me. Come talk to me real quick. We teach a nationality according to the Bible. That's right. Your true nationality according to the Bible. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee huh? to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Give Romans 13 real quick. So we're going to show you further. We're going to show you further what it means to love God according to the Bible. Because we get caught up on, oh, it's about love, it's about love, it's about love. Let's find out what further what love is according to the Bible. Read. This is the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 10. Read. Love worketh no ill. Sorry, verse 8. Verse 8. Oh, no man anything. But to love one another. So the scriptures say, oh, no man anything but to love one another. You don't owe your brother anything but to love him according to what the scriptures say. Right? right. And we're going to find out what it means to love your brother. Read. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. So he that loves his brother has fulfilled the law. So what does that mean? Read. For this. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So if you love your brother, you're not going to commit adultery with his woman. Read. Thou shalt not kill. If you love your brother or your sister, you're not going to kill. Read. Thou shalt not steal. If you love your brother or your sister, you're not going to steal from them. Aren't these things that's plaguing our community? Which shows you that we don't love each other. What? We don't love our brother as ourselves. What? We don't love our sisters. All these things we're reading take place in the black community. Wait! Thou shalt not bear false witness. You shouldn't lie to your brother or your sister. If you love them, that's a commandment. Read. Thou shalt not covet. So if you love your brother, you're not going to desire to take something that belongs to him, that doesn't belong to you. Read. And if there be any other commandment, and if there is any other commandment, any other thing that you can do to show that you love your brother and love your sisters as yourself, read. It is briefly comprehended in this saying, read. namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Read that again, brother. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So, Paul said, if there's any other commandment, if there's any other commandment, it's under love thy neighbor as thyself. Read. Love worketh no ill will to his neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling the law. So if you love God and you love your brother or your sister as yourself, you're keeping the laws. Which one? Hey, brother, across the street. White t-shirt in the bike. Brother with the hat on. Come talk to me real quick. What's your name? What's your name, brother? Hey, brother in the uh, hat, come talk to me real quick. What's your name, man? You good? All right, let me, let me show you something, brother, because you believe in God? All praises, let me show you. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. I'm going to show you, because we just read that if you love God, you keep his commandments, right? So I'm going to give you a commandment, and if you love God, the commandment is not grievous. It's not hard, right? So you should follow this commandment if you love God. Read that. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying. So every man praying or prophesying, meaning when this Bible is coming out, when this Bible is being taught, whether you're reading it, whether you're praying, whether you're listening to it, every man praying or prophesying, read. Having his head covered. Having his head what? Having his head covered. Read. Dishonoreth his head. So if a brother has his head covered while this Bible is coming out, he dishonors his head. Let's find out who the man's head is. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So if you have a head covering on your head, brother, while the Bible's coming out, guess who you dishonor? You dishonor Christ. You believe in Christ? All praises. So if the scripture says, if the Bible's coming out and a man has a head covering on, all praises, brother, that's repentance. That's repentance, brother. All praises. I'm going to show you something, right? Get um, uh, Psalms 19 and 7. I'm going to show you what just happened, bro, because what you just did was repenting. All repentance is is turning back to the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Right. That's right. Right? I'm going to show you what just happened. Read that in Psalms. This is the book of Psalms, 
chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the scriptures say the law of the Lord is perfect. It's a law that men, when the Bible's coming out, uncover their heads. That's perfect. Wait. There's nothing wrong with that law. Read. Converting the soul. What does the law of God do? Converting the soul. Right now, brother, the law of God just converted you. Bring it out. You the law and you hearken to it. Wait. That's what it means to repent. Right. That's right. what it means to love God. That's right. Right. That's, and, and that happened to all of these brothers. We read in the Bible or heard in the Bible, God said, don't do this. So you got to make a choice now. Do I rebel against God? Or do I do with what the Bible says? Bring it up! You just did that, brother. All praises. Hey. That's a beautiful thing. Right? So I'm going to show you something else, brother. Give me. Do you know what today is, brother? What today is? You, are you coming over here? All praises. All praises. So today is the Sabbath of God. The Sabbath of the Lord. So this is a commandment, bro. Give me, give me um, I mean, Exodus 20, right? I'm going to show you another law, bro. So remember, the scripture says if we love God, we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. They're not hard to do. So I'm going to show you another commandment. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Read. Remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. So the Sabbath day, we're supposed to keep holy. Give me um, Nehemiah 10, 31. So how do we keep the Sabbath day holy should be your next question, right? How? Because remember, we keep the commandments. And one of those commandments is remember the Sabbath day, which is today, and to keep it holy. Keep it separate from all other days of the week. So how do we do that? Read. One way is not buying and selling on the Sabbath. So all these stores that you see open, that you see brothers and sisters walking into, they shouldn't be going in there. Wait. They shouldn't be buying anything out of there because of this. Read. Wait. It's a book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Read. Read. And if the people of the land, if the people of the land, who owns that store, brother? What people are in there buying, I mean, selling to your people? Arabs, right? The people of the land, so the people of the land, read. Bring where or any fiddles, bring any type of thing, food, clothing, read. On the Sabbath day, if they bring these things for us on the Sabbath day, which is today, read. To sell that we would not. But it of them that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. Right, because you, you heard of leftovers, right? You can eat leftovers on the Sabbath. If I make a bunch of fish yesterday, I can eat all that fish today. I can eat those leftovers because I'm not supposed to be cooking. So I'm going to prepare double portions. Just don't right. reheat it up. You can eat it cold. You can eat cold pizza cold chicken, whatever you want. You can eat sandwiches, cold cuts, all those things. But as long as you don't cook it on the Sabbath, you're keeping that law. Hey, brother in the burgundy, come talk to me. You got a name? What's your name, brother? All praises. Come talk to me, brother. We out here for you. We out here for your people. We are not out here for everybody. We out here for our people. All praises, brother. Let me show you something, brother. Give me, um, give me that again. No buying and selling on the Sabbath. So, brother, I know you just came out the store. You know what I'm saying? It's the Sabbath day, right? Let me share with you a law. Because you got a beard on your face. Okay, all praise. You got a mighty beard on your face. That's lawful according to the Bible. That's but you right. just came out of the store on the Sabbath and you bought something. Read that. It's a book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Because you said you see this every week. So if you see this every week, that means you got to do something now, brother. Read. After people of the land. Bring where or any bills on the Sabbath day to sell. Read. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. You're not supposed to be buying anything on the Sabbath day. Right. That's unlawful according to God. That's the reason why we're in the predicament we're in today. Bring it up. That's why drugs fill up our communities. Right. That's why our women are walking around with baby daddies and not husbands. Right. Right. That's why our men are walking around being baby daddies instead of being husbands. Right. Right. So once we get back to the commandments of God, that's when our community is so bring it up. the black shirt. Come talk to me real quick. You got a mighty beard on your face, brother. You know that's lawful according to the Bible? Give me beer, man. Hey, brother, what's your name? What's your name, brother? I'm going to read something to you, bro. Read that. I'm going to show you that that beard on your face is a commandment and it's a mighty thing. Read. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Read. 
Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Read. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So you not supposed to shave that thing off. So the fact that you letting that thing grow out, that's amazing to the Most High. Because you look like the Most High God. Wait. You look like Christ when you wear a beard on your face. Bring it out. What's the name, brother, in um, yellow shirt? Blue shirt. What's the name, man? Oh, Prince, come talk to me real quick, man. We out here for you. Bring it out. You know that Christ was a black man according to the Bible like you? You know that? Come talk to me, man. We out here for you. Wait. You say, give me that in Revelation 114, bro. Oh, you say you? No. Okay, all praise. You know what I'm saying? We're going to deal with it. Get that real quick. I'm going to show you according to the Bible that Christ looks like you, brother. And not just you. I'm going to show you the Bible is a true book. Because how many, where's that image at, bro? How many times you went to the Christian church and you seen this image? Hey, brother in the red, come talk to me, man. What's your name? You say, hey, man, ain't nothing you about to do that's more important than this. Hey. It ain't nothing more important than what you about to do with this. Read that real quick. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. So we about to start at verse 1. We're going to describe Christ out of the Bible. Because we all talk about we know Christ, but nobody goes to the Bible and shows what Christ looks like. But if we just believe an image that somebody puts in front of us. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this, yes, sir. this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Drop down to verse 14. Verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ had white and woolly hair. I Meaning he had the texture of hair that the so-called Negro man has. And it was white, so he was fully gray. Right, read. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet. And Christ's feet. Like read. unto fine brass. Like fine brass. Brass is a brown color. Read. As if they burned. In a furnace. So you take that same brown color brass, you burn it in a furnace, it's going to turn dark. It's going to turn black. Men of Israel. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.